Gigafactory is not the only factory that'll be on the top now. Tesla Gigafactory is getting its competition from another EV company. When you grow as a company, you must upgrade your production line. And what is the best way to do that? Well, you may have your own thoughts about it, but in my opinion, one brilliant way to do that is to build up a new factory, and Rivian is doing the same. They recently told the media about their new factory, and the idea is fantastic. If you have missed it, then no worries because we'll take you on tour inside the Rivian EV factory. Wait a while. I guess I'm jumping ahead, as many of you may not even know what Rivian is and its goals. Well, if that's the case, then there is nothing to be ashamed of. It's entirely alright. Just allow me to help. Rivian Automotive Inc. was created in 2009 as an electric vehicle manufacturer and automotive technology firm in the United States. Rivian is developing an electric SUV and pickup truck based on a skateboard framework that may support future cars or be used by other businesses. These cars are made to be driven both on and off the road. As part of a collaboration with Amazon, an electric delivery van is also being developed. As of July 2021, both the pickup truck and the delivery van are in the early stages of production. Rivian delivered 1,000 R1C in 2021 and made 5,000 cumulatively. By 2023, the business wants to develop an exclusive charging network throughout the US and Canada. Rivian is headquartered in Irvine, California, with facilities in Palo Alto, California, Carson, California, Plymouth, Michigan, Vancouver, British Columbia, Whitman, Arizona, and Woking, England. Following its IPO in November 2021, the firm raised approximately $13.5 billion US dollars in funding, indicating that it might become a significant competitor to Tesla. In my opinion, this company is no match for Tesla. They're still new in the market and working on their products. But as every investor out there, I see a lot of potential in this company. So maybe not today, but they can be a tough competition for Tesla in the future. Now that we have gathered enough information about the company, let's get back to the topic we were discussing, their factory. The state-of-the-art manufacturing plant was abandoned in 2017 when Rivian went on to purchase it for $16 million. This decision appears as if they're doing the same thing that Tesla did by revitalizing an old GM Toyota manufacturing plant. Rivian's strategy was to buy a partially functional one rather than setting up a completely new one. When Rivian took over this 4 million square foot space, it was already equipped with stamping machines and molding equipment. Rivian is currently one of Tesla's most established and credible competitors. The key to Rivian's current and future success will be their manufacturing capacity, and boy, they're on the right track with acquiring their regular Illinois plant. Rivian wants at least four similar manufacturing facilities around the world, according to the plan. Rivian wants one more factory in the United States, one in Europe and one in China. Rivian promised to start manufacturing in 2019. However, because of the widespread of COVID-19 and global chip shortages, its plans were significantly hampered. Rivian is distinguished from other automakers because it is an OEM or original equipment manufacturer. Unlike other automakers, Rivian manufactures many of its own parts rather than depending on suppliers. Rivian retooled existing presses in the factory so that they could stamp aluminum and steel on their own. Currently, Rivian can imprint 300 different body parts for its R1T or R1S. The plant also includes ancillary items like Rivian's DC rapid chargers. This helps Rivian maintain its quality standards, allowing for design changes on the fly and faster delivery dates. The facility's vertical integration has also brought up several possibilities. According to Fields, who has worked in auto manufacturing for more than 20 years, the last 13 with Nissan in Mississippi, Rivian's secret source in manufacturing is vertical integration. Fields says, We can control our own quality, we can control all of our own raw materials, we can make design changes on the fly, and get to keep all of the savings we make rather than sharing them with a supplier. Rivian has already enlarged its facilities by approximately 800,000 square feet with plants to grow by another 600,000 square feet in the following years. They want to do so by expanding both east and west, which will allow them to better handle battery and motor operations. The battery is likely the most critical aspect of a vehicle, and Rivian currently gets its batteries from Samsung. Rivian is reportedly exploring ways to manufacture battery cells in-house, according to recent reports. Rivian is also investigating ways to manufacture their own motors, as they had always relied on Bosch Motors. In terms of hiring and workforce, Rivian's normal plant currently provides bread and butter to over 2,800 employees, and the company wants to increase this number to 5,000. We're still in need of team members, group leaders, tool and engineer, and analysts, and there's no one place where we're completely satisfied and done with our hiring, Field said. 
If you like, you should apply for a job there. Maybe you will get it. This was all a look inside the current factory, but Rivian has announced that it has selected a location for a second facility in Georgia. The electric vehicle manufacturer says the new facility will cost $5 billion, so it's safe to assume it'll be enormous and packed with innovative features. Rivian Forums has released plans for the new factory, including a lot of information. The plant will be spread out over 2,000 acres. Furthermore, the structures themselves will cover a staggering 20 million square feet. Rivian's main plant in Normal, Illinois, formerly a Mitsubishi factory, will have nearly 4 million square feet after plant extensions are finished. There will be numerous buildings, a test track, an adventure trail, and much more at the complex. Rivian also released a PDF showing their plans for this new factory. If you like, you can view it. The link will be in the description, so feel free. 144 EV chargers, a training center, an R&D building, a distribution center, several outdoor amenity spaces, garbage and recycling facilities, and much more will be available at Rivian's planned Georgia location. Rivian's adventure vehicle motive is well known, and the company is counting on its car's remarkable off-road skills to attract purchasers. As a result, it's no surprise that the plant will have its own adventure trail. Rivian will most certainly take a long time to ramp up production and become a significant player in the EV industry. Yet, many feel it can easily follow Tesla's lead and achieve great success in the future. However, many doubters believe spending $5 billion on the second factory before ramping up output and sales is dangerous. Rivian was even warned by Tesla CEO Elon Musk to be cautious. Regarding the Rivian factory, he tweeted, I'd recommend they get their first plant working. It's insanely difficult to reach volume production at an affordable unit cost. All I want to say about this is how supportive this guy could be. A company that could be a potential competition to this company in the near future. He clearly knows that this is a possibility and still gives out a suggestion to the company showing how good he is. All I can say is that Tesla labored for years with only one factory and waited until it was proven to be a success before considering expanding globally. Rivian has been able to take its time and observe Tesla's movements, which we can only assume Rivian has learned from. Tesla cleared the road for electric vehicle startups like Rivian to think about what to do and perhaps more crucially what not to do. Rivian, instead of following in the footsteps of many other EV firms and going public via a SPAC merger, went with a regular IPO. All of this came after Rivian received significant funding from companies like Amazon, Ford, and others. Furthermore, before attempting to persuade the public that it was capable of success, the corporation shared extensive testing and demonstrated its vehicles and their capabilities for an extended length of time. Meanwhile, some EV businesses are attempting to succeed despite a lack of sufficient proof of concept. Let's hope Rivian is on the right track. If they continue to work as hard as they are working now, they could be a tough competition to Tesla. Hopefully, it will. Fingers crossed.